Hey, what's going on guys? James is right here, and today we are going to be playing the Odyssey Commander in Action. Now, I done tried this already and I can tell you that I did not do so well because I tried to only bring mortars. And let me tell you, what I'm pretty sure with an ace, that will help a lot because the mortars are not very good alone. I can go ahead and tell you that. But yeah, this is going to be my setup. I want four wizards because of the last map that has... Maybe I don't need wizards, but just in case, Spillway is such an awkward map. It's good for mortars, which is why I'm bringing two. And Moon Landing is the map for it, which is good. And I'm going to bring Canopus. In case you're wondering why I'm not bringing Village for Camo, I can't use it. But yeah, my plan is they allowed never miss. So I'm going to start off with Striker on pretty much every single map. And not much else to say after that, honestly. Start off with Striker, then get on Never Miss pretty soon. And yeah. And this is my first time making videos in a while, so hopefully I can figure out how to do this. And not embarrass myself. Now, Ace, I don't know if it exactly matters where it is in this case. I'm gonna put it in the middle, I guess. If I can. Yes, I can. Okay. Figure infinite, because I believe that's the best pretty much almost on almost any map, depending on where you place it. Now, in this video, it's only going to be the first map, because I just wanted to test out this. And yeah, I don't know what else to do, because it's kind of late. I just got back from my work. And... Oh yeah, shoutouts to Larry635135 Gaming. I'm going to put his YouTube channel in the description. He, he hosted a giveaway. I won the giveaway somehow. By luck, obviously. But I'm definitely happy that I won it, and I can tell you, I definitely appreciate it. Thank you, Larry, for that giveaway and everything that you offered in it. Because this mic is awesome, and the webcam that I have, sadly, I don't know how to use it yet. Well, I know how to use the webcam, but the problem is that I don't know how to, like, what software to use, like, to record videos, and what I'm using right now is the Xbox game bar thing. I don't know if you can tell in the video or not. I'll have to figure that out at the end, but basically on the top right, for me, it shows 2 minutes 53 seconds. But the video has been recorded for Oh yeah, as you can see, I can't even get oh, centered path. No, I can't even get like the top cross path. But it's not like I want that anyways right now. I could get wing monkey. I have the monkey knowledge, and yes, this honestly is going to be with monkey knowledge. But I, it should work without it. I feel like maybe. If it doesn't, let me know. If you want to try it without knowledge, or like if you don't have it, or just want to challenge yourself, let me know. But yeah, I'm doing it with knowledge because it's more fun to me, and yeah. Well, Striker and Ace are definitely doing a lot better than Striker and Mortar, that's for sure. Because when I was showing it earlier, I had the Mortars. I don't know where to target the Mortars to be in a good spot with their Blast Radius. I, assume, I just assumed right here would be good, and yeah, that was pretty good because it got all three of these parts of the track, but... Like, no, it did not work very well. If you want to try it and see if you can do it with, with mortars, striker and mortars and wizard, be my guest. I, if it works, tell me and call me a noob. I don't care. <laughs> I just don't like using mortars. Are good, but the thing is, I just don't use them that much. Meaning, I don't know exactly like where the thing where to place them, and the best placement for them and stuff like that. But yeah, we're doing pretty well. And if I get louder, it's because I kind of got closer to the mic that I got from Larry. But yeah, shout, definitely shout out to him. He plays this game too, and that's how I knew who he was, and never missed. And I, I love watching his streams. His latest streams have been just doing the Odyssey on him, and 
if he does die, he does use continues, but like every time he dies, it's more of him being stupid, which I can, no offense to him, obviously, but I understand the hell that is. When you think something will work or if you're just not paying attention, when you can easily have enough money to do other stuff to save yourself, that's the only times I've seen him fail in the Odysseys. And I don't know about you, but the Odysseys, they're fun. But they feel kind of dragged out the fact that you have the same towers every single time. Which I know some Odysseys, Odysseys are like, oh, this, this map is a primary only. Another map is magic only. But like, you still have the same towers in your arsenal, if that makes sense. That's what I don't like. Also, now I'm going to alchemize the Nevimus because it's good. Honestly, if I can use more to this whole Odyssey run, that would actually be funny. Because they want you to use strikers and either mortars or bombs, I'm pretty sure. But if I can go without it, that would be pretty funny. Even though I don't think I can, because... Round 60 and... Sure, you heard that. If I decide to, I'll definitely edit that out. And if I don't, well, you just heard the ring of the ring of Discord. You're welcome, everybody. But yeah, Larry makes great videos. I don't know if I was talking about that before, but or right before that, but yeah, look. You should go check him out, definitely. Not like I'm that big of a YouTuber. Not many people would start going to him. But yeah, if you happen to hear this, yeah, go watch it. And I'm gonna start getting a wizard up here at, at a shimmer. Because yes, the Neva Mist can definitely solo right now. All the camo blooms that are coming. But eh. I know I'm gonna need mortar soon, and they don't have camo. These are restricted to 250 on the mortars. I figure, why not? And if you can't tell by my voice, I'm kind of, I am tired from work. I think I said that at the beginning. That's just how tired I am, I guess. Well, not horribly. Part of it is actually me hurting right now. Where I was bent over at work the other day, and it's still carrying on to today. But yeah, I'm definitely getting a lot better, but I still don't feel the best at all. See how ne like, Alchemize never miss goes against Moab. Pretty decently. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm probably going to start getting a mortar, though. It doesn't matter if it's in the range of Striker, Bomb Towers do, because they, they, get, they get like an extra 10%. Like, maybe attack speed being close or something? I don't remember. But yeah, this is where I had the mortar sat last time. I don't know if it's the best place. Probably better right here. But I honestly don't think it matters right now. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get it set. Man, I love this microphone. I can't really explain to you why. It's just I've never had one of these before. I guess maybe that's the main reason why. But... Yeah, the best way I can explain it is I love it. <laughs> and I, that webcam that I got, uh, most likely, yeah, I mentioned that. I got a webcam, and it's very good. A lot better than my computer camera, I can tell you that much. Because my computer camera wasn't, like, horrible. I can tell you it was not as good as this. Not nearly. Which I am definitely happy about. Also, I'm going to start getting mortar there too. Because why not? And this video turned out to be boring with me not talking at all. I'm sorry. Just, I don't know what else to say. I'm just happy to start making videos again. And honestly, knowing me, if you see this video edited, that means I actually took the time to edit it.
And yeah, that's surprising considering I'm kind of tired. But this video should go up the same day that I'm recording it, which is Friday, January 15th. And so far, we're definitely doing well, because these mortars only, I've definitely struggled with them. But yeah, I the, wonder if they added the never to say so that you wouldn't struggle. <laughs> That's a good thing to think about. Because I know they added in the Sar Bomba too, which, and this, this actually seems like Explosion, Explosion Odyssey. Well, yeah, duh. By the title, I kind of forgot the name of it. But, I'm pretty sure it has something to do with, like, explosions or something. <laughs> Yeah, this is just so satisfying watching this actually work. <laughs> I can't explain to you how satisfying it is that this is actually working. And honestly, yeah, if this is just gonna work, I may just skip to round 63, the round that I think I'm gonna struggle on. Yeah, this is just working out very, very well. There's not much else to say because it's not like I can really buy anything else except you know, I can't buy a Spectre, can I? Nope. I could buy Poppin' Up, but like, do I need to? I'm going to just in case, obviously. I think they did get a buff to where its main attack just does more to the bonuses that the heavy shells do. I think it's not to no abs, ceramics, lead, fortified. I think it's plus 5 damage or something like that, I could be wrong. Could be different depending on like what they are, maybe plus 5 damage to 4 to 5, plus 20 damage to the labs. That would be insane if it was plus 20 damage. Yeah. But that's just an example. <laughs> oh, M60 was a little bit harder than I thought. Honestly, I don't know what else to get, because there's not really much to get. Yep, this is just working. You can hear in the background, I am drinking a soda. I have Mountain Dew. And yeah, Mountain Dew is great. This really did carry till then, or till now, didn't it? Now let's see how we do. Do the mortars help out a lot? I think they did, because I don't think Nevin has done like anything <laughs> this round. Yeah, the mortars are helping a lot. I'm gonna watch the pop count this one. Like, yeah, that's going up quite a bit. Popping off. There we go. Why did I put it on that one? Honestly, I don't know. There's no reason why I put on that. I guess I could say it's because it's in the range of the Alchemist and it's gonna get boosted. Yeah, that's totally it. Totally. I totally meant to do that for that reason. There we go. And I think I'm done for the rest of the game. And I'll probably just use the rest of my money to level up Striker Jones because why not? <laughs> Seriously, why not? I guess what I'm thinking about it, heavy shells. Do extra damage to ceramic lead. Okay, ceramic lead fortified and all. Awesome. It does damage to Moabs too. It doesn't say it, but I don't know why it doesn't. But oh yeah, it can damage your black balloons too, which is definitely one of the mortars' norm normal weaknesses. I think it's funny that even though the mortars' weakness is black balloons, I'm pretty sure all fifth tiers can pop them. Because I know the third tier of the middle path can, the fourth tier of the top path can. 
Bottom path, I'm pretty sure the Bernie stuff can, maybe. I actually don't know about that. Uh, Shattering Shelf maybe can? I'm not for sure the blue incineration wall of fire. But, I... That is a good question. I could actually test that out sometime. But yeah, this is just going very, very smoothly. If I had to say what is my least used fifth tier tower, pop and all is definitely on the top. Blue Incineration is kind of... I don't know, I used to use Blue Incineration a lot and I stopped using it as much. Blue Incineration isn't bad, to me it is kind of expensive, but at the same time you get so much of life damage. It's weak that it says Blooms, but like, it still does okay against them with that Wall of Fire thing. But I mean, it's not like every tower has to be good at everything. I mean, Dartling Guns MAD does excellent <laughs> against Moabs. It takes down the BAD quickly, it's just the wounds inside? Yeah, that's all I want. That's for sure. Pretty much all house towers I don't use a lot. I'm only using the super brutal tower because super brutal the makes one that it is super many You can hit no lot so it doesn't make it take extra damage. And it's very good at, with towers that shoot off projectiles that attack them. Super brutal, super brit attack, and it's a combination of Pat Fusty which makes the attacks each attack do plus like one or two yeah, more damage or something like that. And that's pretty great. I didn't know you that much. If you happen to hear my Discord, they're not going to figure I can't tell if you do or not, but if you do, I have friends. I know it's hard to believe, but I actually do have friends. For someone that plays Bloons along, yeah, I definitely do have friends. Well, I don't play Bloons along, I don't play them. Not the same person, but that shit. I don't even know if he's, obviously he's heard of it, <laughs> but... I mentioned it to him like how fun it is all the time, but I don't know if he's ever thought about playing it or if he actually has one, I don't know. I know he has blue inside of his fire. What what the game do you think of which game do you guys think is more fun? Blue inside of Fence 6 or 5? Let me know in the comments. If this video is popular enough to even Yeah. Yeah, let me know in the comments. Which one do you think is better? T D6 or T D5? I think T D6 is definitely far better, more fun. Because you have more, it def it's definitely harder, especially since you have to actually think about which towers to get, which cross paths to get. Are you going to start a regular farm? The answer is no. I was about to use press three to use the pop and all ability because that would just one shot every single survivor. But nope, these mortars are good enough on their own. Oh yeah, wasn't I going to use my rest of my money to level up striker? I cannot find that out. There you go, he's level 17 now. That's actually pretty high on the level, Striker. I don't know if part of it is my monkey knowledge are making him level up faster, but that is kind of high on the level for a beginner map. In case you guys didn't know, the heroes actually level up slower on beginner maps and faster on expert maps, or like the harder maps, because probably to balance things out, because in, in the harder maps, if you don't have a higher level hero that'll definitely mess things up. But in beginner maps, if you don't have a high enough level hero, typically you should be able to figure out what to do. The harder maps, sometimes they don't give you a chance to. Yeah, here, here comes more the camo wave right there. Did we get all the camos? Yes or no? I guess so. I don't know why I saw that tracker having... Wait, can I avoid the next level? Yes or no? Yes, I can. All bomb shooters and mortar monkeys attack an additional 10% faster. Okay, I love that. But yeah, this Nevamiss, I could tell you, is very, very 
helpful because the mortars struggled hard. And I'm glad that... In, in case you're asking, well, why not pick bomb shooter with it instead? Well, you can do that. I didn't think about that. You can do that, but the thing is, I like the ace better. And the fact that you can actually deal with camo without the shimmer being, being there. I did bring four shimmers, but still, it could deal with the... It can deal with shimmer. Or it can deal without shimmer, whatever. I cannot speak to that. Yeah, it can take on the camos without shimmer, and you can wait for the shimmers for later. Also, Moab. Set target over the ZOG. And note that it does extra damage to the Moab class blues, and with the ability, the stun blues take more damage. So, target over. Boom. Oh, time to win? Yep, time to win. Oh, that was the first one. That was the first map. Well, thank you guys for watching, and later on this week, I'm definitely going to post the rest of the maps. And if I don't post the last map in time before it ends, I'm sorry, but I'm going to at least show you how I beat the maps. Well, see you guys later.